I forgot there was a red out here. What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. In the last episode, we got the lab card key. There's a few more doors we can unlock, and I want to go around and unlock them because there's cool stuff inside. This place is disgusting. Ew. Doesn't seem like there's much in here. It's just gross. Oh my lord! That was a big bug! Oh my god, I can't believe I un unequipped that. Kill it with fire! Please? Oh, I thought it was dead! <laughs> no, get off! Oh, this is just a giant moth for no reason whatsoever. Actually, I went and looked it up on what that moth actually is, and apparently, at one point, it was Birkin's pet? Okay, and look at that, I'm finally out of flamethrower. You were very useful while you lasted, flamethrower. Now, this computer over here does have some significance. I believe it was last episode, we got a username and password, and this is the only computer we have gotten so far. The uh, temporary username was guest. And leave the password blank, so that's convenient. It's better than John and Ada. <laughs> Wait for it. Aha! We now have a registered fingerprint in this lab. And the thing about this is, there will be another door that we can go to, and we have actually seen it already. When you register your fingerprint, you can go to, over to that door and use your fingerprint. And when you do, you need one more fingerprint after yours. And when you do that, whatever scenario Claire is doing, let's say here in scenario A, Leon registers his fingerprint, in scenario B for Claire, she can register her fingerprint and get in the door. All right, let's see. I don't need the flamethrower anymore. Uh, what do I want? Aha! Let me actually put this together. Magnum combined with the parts? <laughs> nice! Oh, it's so powerful. I love the custom Magnum. Oh, so good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange my items. There we go, that looks good. I don't need the handgun anymore, I don't need any piddly handgun bullets, I'm just gonna rock with the shotgun and the magnum for a while. Such good weapons, especially right at the end. Well, hello! <laughs> I didn't see you coming at all! That's not nice. So there you go, now you're dead. How do you feel? I should hope you don't feel anything because you're dead. All right, I believe the one card, or not the card, the MO disc, that's the one thing keeping us from the very end. And we have to go through all these shenanigans again. It's just kind of sad that this game is winding down. I've mentioned to a lot of people that Resident Evil 2 is very, very short. And this is a prime example of it. This will probably be the last episode here. We just have to go through a couple more rooms, get the MO disc, and leave, really. That's the one thing I like about Resident Evil 2. It may be short, but there's a lot to do. And you are a jerk! Get off! There's an example of its grapple attack and its spitting acid at me. Thank God I didn't get poisoned. I hate the poison effect. And I hope it never happens. I was actually going through to see how long my other Resident Evil Let's Plays were, and going by episodes, the closest one to this one's length was Remake, and Resident Evil 2 just barely scratches the shortest Let's Play at, I'm assuming, 11 episodes, if I decide to go with that. Let's see, that one needs the card key. I can actually use this! Here's the fingerprint scanner area. Needs two or more people. So, I've got a fingerprint registered. And it says it needs a secondary one. This is what I was explaining earlier, that you need Claire, because if you try it yourself, yeah, you can't do it. So, in the next scenario, we'll have Claire open that door for us and see what's inside. No need for the card key. Let's head on in. And this room is kind of creepy for some reason. Yeah, I hear you, zombies. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, took out an entire right side and his head. I love this thing. How many zombies did I... Good God! How many zombies are back here? <laughs> I took out three at the same time. The custom shotgun is my friend. Aha, here we go. The ammo disc. Fantastic. And uh, in Leon's scenario, this room doesn't have any more purposes. You're just here for the ammo disc and that's it. But in here, this is a VAM for vaccines. Mm, that might be important in a different scenario. There's a lot of stuff that's only dependent on the other scenario. You! You murdered my husband! I know what you're looking for! You came for the G-Virus, didn't you? But you'll never take it from me! This is my husband's legacy! Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> you're so gullible! She's one of the operatives sent here by the Agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie! No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. <laughs> oh man, she didn't stand a chance. One hit with the pipes from the ceiling and she's out. And hey, look at that, we got the G-Virus. Be sure not to break it. But it looks like Ada was a spy the whole time. Now we just need to go tell her so that she can try to disprove it and then make her daring escape. And I'm assuming. I mean, what else are we going to do with the G-Fires? We'll give it to her. Leon. I've been waiting for you, Leon. What are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G-Virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't do that. Ada! Ada! I've got you! Don't give up! G. G. Leon. It's over. Just let me go. Shut up! You're gonna make it! It's too late, Leon. We both know it. No! I promised you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. I... I really wanted to escape with you, Leon. Escape from everything. Goodbye. Ada!
on, you fool! Why would you throw away the G-Virus? That's the cause of everything here! And you got rid of it! You idiot! There was a reason she did that, it is so nobody else could get it. The thing that's causing zombies. Why would you throw it out, you moron? Oh, God, besides Leon's lapse of brain activity, this place is gonna blow, so... Hey, even if we didn't get it out, at least it's going up in flames. Oh, God, that scene just is stupid. <laughs> I mean, I know Resident Evil's full of really cheesy moments, but that moment is stupid. Leon falls for a girl he's known for the equivalent of two hours and gives away, or better yet, throws away, the one thing that caused everything. I mean, I know the T-Virus is the cause of the zombies, but the G-Virus caused William Birkin, and he threw it. Oh my god! <laughs> Why did you do that? Okay, I'm, I'm done complaining over here. For some reason, naked zombies show up where the liquors were, I guess they just decided to wake up from the other laboratories when we didn't see any dead bodies, and they just got up. Here's where we need to use the Mo Disc. And we're coming up to our final battle. I want to make sure I'm fully equipped with everything, so I will be right back, get healing items and everything. There we go, fully decked out, and I want this green herb here. If I wanted to use more time, I could go back and get that red that was uh, back in front of the main laboratory. But I think I'm pretty well off here. Five fully healing items, the custom magnum and custom shotgun. Yeah, I'm ready for anything. There's something missing here. I know every Resident Evil game I've played has something specific. Five minutes until detonation. I thought we were missing something. Yeah, a countdown timer during the final battle. Can't have a Resident Evil game without that. Okay, big elevator. Yeah. Let's head out. Birkin wasn't dead, he just mutated into something uglier. Here is the final boss. William Birkin just has a bunch of slash attacks. He's really, really slow, so don't let him get near you. And look at that, three magnum shots and he's already gone. But, since he's a mutating monster, he's gonna turn into something really, really difficult to kill. Especially if you didn't bring the right ammo, but even if you did, he is still powerful. I always like to call this one dog mode. Just because, you know, he runs on all fours and he can jump. That is the most terrifying attack. He can also jump on top of these uh, little containers here. So, yeah, he hurts. Especially since he's got those big teeth in front. Main strategy is just follow where he goes and shoot him whenever you can. Because he's going to be jumping around. And please, please, please make sure you have enough health. Because he has one attack that deals so much damage. And I hope I can I can either show it first or no no there it is oh he picks you up with his front teeth and throws you around it is so painful Urgh, I'm down to yellow again or orange excuse me okay there we go yeah most of the time he'll play kind of a hide and seek move with you he'll go behind the canisters and then run right into you and pick you up pretty much taking you from green to orange they are mean attacks. But no time at all with the custom magnum. And uh, that is it. We shall now leave Birkin here to blow up. He and his wife will finally be together. And I love how you just have to run on the elevator. You don't actually have to press anything. It just knows. It's like, hey, you're about to blow up. Bam! You're out of here. And speaking of out of here, one more hallway. And looky here.
my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. Bye, Ada. I barely knew ya. And with a soft piano song leading us out, that is the end of Resident Evil 2, Leon's first scenario. So, as I said, this scenario, both Claire and Leon's A scenario, very, very short. And we'll be getting into the B side of what Claire was doing the entire time while Leon was fighting William Birkin, Annette, all that stuff, you know, palling around with Ada and all that. That's what we'll be doing next is Claire's B scenario. And I love this game. It is so cheesy. It is so fun. You get some pretty cool weapons. You fight some really cool monsters. I don't know what Capcom did with this one, but they just, they just made it click. And I'm always just floored by every game that Leon Kennedy is in. I've, I always assume those are the best ones and then... You know, somebody brings up Resident Evil Gaiden or 6, and I just go, well, you know, the first couple even number Resident Evils were pretty good. And I'd have to agree. So, 2 and 4, pretty good, because they have Leon Kennedy, I guess. But other than that, there will be, uh, we'll be seeing this uh, multiple times. And by the way, fun fact, Allison Court there has played Claire Redfield from day one up until whenever they need her again. She has been in every Resident Evil game, but Leon's actor has changed three times. They... Oh, wow, this one was... You know, he was pretty decent until he yelled, A-da, and then it was down the hill from there. So then they got another guy for 4 and the CGI movies, and then it was changed again for Resident Evil 6, so kind of cool. Also, Ada has been the same actress since day one. I guess they, they know how to keep female actresses, but the male ones, pfft, gotta change them every time. Hi, Shinji Mikami. I haven't heard from you in a while. And Kiji Nafude, how are you doing? How's Mighty Number no. 9? The song is really good, and actually the ending song in both B scenarios is awesome. And Hideki Kamiya. Wait a minute, the same one of Platinum Games? What? Thanks, Capcom. You did good here. Oh, that's what game I was playing. God, I thought I was playing three. And now, just like every Resident Evil game before it, you get ranked. Based on how fast you beat the game and whether you use cheats or not. The score here in two, since the cheat mode is so readily available, they do dock a letter point off that if you ever use it. And since I used it as an explanation, it took me down to a rank B. It's kind of mean in that regard. Had I beat it a lot faster and not used cheat mode, I probably would have gotten an S. If that one exists. I've never actually seen it, so it might just be A rank. Let's see. I'll save over my original Claire B file. There we go. Now I haven't lost anything. Uh, that's it for Leon's story. So, uh, what say? Let's go see what Claire was doing. Non-canonically, of course. <laughs> 